So here are the solutions for the mock exam for logs. Uh, population of bacteria is growing at a rate of 2.3% per minute. This should look familiar. Um, how long will it take for the size of the population to double? Okay, so um, let's see. Let's write this as an expression with an exponent. Now remember, um, growing at 2.3% per minute, that means you multiply by 1.023 every minute okay so like uh, that would be uh, 1.023 to the minute okay and then we don't know exactly how much we have at the beginning uh, let's say that we have a hundred bacteria they're just asking how long it takes to double so how long does it take take to get to 200 for example um, and then we're going to solve for t and we're going to solve for t without the calculator so that means we're going to do it with logs and uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 100 so we can isolate the t so we get 2 equals 1.023 to the t now how do we get at the end t equals something well we need to get the t down to the number instead of the exponent the way we do that is with log so we could take the log base 10 of 2 set it equal to the log base 10 of 1.023 to the t okay and then uh, if we have log of 1.023 to the t we know using the rule of logs that that is the same as t log of 1.023 and then we can solve for t we can divide both sides by log of 1.023, and then we'll have log of 2 divided by the log of 1.023. And that's our solution. That t is equal to log of 2 divided by log of 1.023 minutes. Next one. Find the exact solution of 9 to the 2x is equal to 27 to the 1 minus x. So uh, we could rewrite the 9 as 3 squared, and we could write the 27 as 3 cubed. And that really helps because the secret here is to get everything written to the same exponent. So if we could write it as 3 to the something equals 3 to the something, then we're set. We can say that this is equal to this, and then we can solve for x. So we'll do that. So 9 we'll write as 3 squared. 27 we'll write as 3 cubed. And then um, we'll combine the exponents. 3 to the 2 to the 2x is the same thing as 3 to the 4x. 3 to the 3 to the 1 minus x is 3 to the 3 1 minus x multiplied. So that would give us 3 to the 4x is equal to 3 to the 3 minus 3x. And then uh, we could just say that the 4x is equal to 3 minus 3x. And then we'll just solve for x. So add 3x to both sides. And we'll have 7x equals 3. And then we'll divide 7 from both sides. And we'll have x equals 3 7 and that will be the answer okay now last problem okay last problem let f of x equals and they put a pretty complicated intimidating thing here um, but don't panic they give you the answer they say show that this function is equal to log base 3 of 2x. Hmm. Well, we're going to use the rule log of a, b equals log of a plus log of b. And we'll also use the rule log of a divided by b is equal to the log of a minus the log of b. Okay. So using those two rules, we can figure this one out. So let's see. Uh, we have that these two logs are added together. 
So that means that we could combine the contents. We could say that x divided by 2 is multiplied times 16. Okay, and then we still have log base 3 of 4 subtracted from that. Now we can use uh, this identity, and then we're going to say that log base 3 of, and we could simplify this, this is equal to 8x, is divided by 4. So actually we have log base 3 is equal uh, time, uh, of 2 to the, 2x, and we're already done. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Now, find the value of f of 0 0.5 and f of 4.5, which means we are going to take the function log base 3 of 2x, and we're going to put in 0.5 for x, so f of 0.5 is equal to log base 3 of 2 times 0.5, which is equal to log base 3 of 1. And on the other one, you have f of 4.5 equals log base 3 of 2 times 0.45, which is 9. And then now it's like, okay, it's kind of hard to evaluate these because we're not used to logs, but what if we write them as an exponent? Now remember, that's the base, and this is the number, and the exponent is unknown. So we could say 3 to the unknown is equal to 1. 3 to the what equals 1? And so if you remember from Donina, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So 3 to the 0 is equal to 1. If 3 to the 0 equals the 1, then that means uh, that the log base 3 of, zero, of 1 is 0. Okay, so that's the answer to this. Okay, now what about 4.5? What's log base 3 of 9? Well, basically what that's saying is 3 to the what is equal to 9? Well, 3 squared is equal to 9, right? So log base 3 of 9 is 2. Okay. Now it says the function f, which is this function, can be written in the form f of x equals natural log of ax divided by natural log of b. And um, this is using the identity that log base b of a is equal to log base anything, like log base 10, of a divided by log base 10 of b. So you can see that if you have log base 3 of 2x, you're going to say, oh my gosh, log base 3, I don't know how to do that. So one of the things you could do is you could say, hey, instead of log base 3, I'm going to change this to natural log. Okay. So um, you could change this using this identity to natural log of 2x over natural log of 3. Okay, and then you've already converted to this. a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3. Okay, then we'll go to the next page. Find the coordinates for f of x without using a calculator, and we have some uh, numbers here. Now remember, um, you can't take the log of a negative number. So since our function is log base 3 of 2x, any negative x, and we know that's illegal, and even a zero value, the log of a zero value is basically an asymptote, so that's kind of illegal too. It's an asymptote. What if we put 0 0.5 in? 0 0.5 in would give us 2 times 0 0.5, which would be 1, log of 1, base 3 is equal to 0. If we put 1.5 in, that would be log base 3 of 3. Log base 3 of 3 is equal to 1. Remember that whenever you take the log of something, if you have the base of the exponent here equal to the base of the log, then all you do is you take the exponent from here. Okay, so it would be 1. What if you have 
log base 3 of 4.5 times 2 is log base 3 of 9. Okay? This is the same thing as saying 3 to the what is equal to 9. Well, it's obviously 3 squared. Okay? So now we have three points. We have 0 0.5 comma, comma 0. We have 1.5 comma 1. 4.5 comma 2. Now it says on graph paper, sketch the graph for x from negative 5 to 5 using a scale of blah, blah, blah. And so I have this little graph paper here. We use this graph paper. Okay. So um, we can see that like the negative values are illegal. What about 0? Zero? 0 is also an asymptote, so that's kind of illegal. Uh, x equals 0 0.5 comma 0. That would be about there. Uh, 1.5 comma 1, that would be there. And 4.5 comma 2, that would be there. So now we can draw a curve through that. And that's our log plot. Write down the equation of the asymptote. Well, remember we just said that the asymptote is right there. It's x equals 0. Write down the value of inverse f of 0. Okay, so that means um, the inverse function of log base 3 of 2x. How do we find that? Well, we could use variable interchange. So instead of y equals log of 3 of 2x, we'll write x equals log base 3 of 2y. Now we're going to solve for y. The way we do that is we have to get y out of the log. Um, to get y out of the log, we'll take both sides to an exponent of 3. So that will give me 3 to the x is equal to, these cancel out, 2y. So y is equal to 3 to the x divided by 2. Okay. So now we say, okay, what if I put 0 in for x? What do I get? 3 to the 0 is 1. 1 over 2 is 1 half. So y is equal to 0 0.5. Okay? So that's the answer for that. The other way you could do it is you could uh, find the inverse. And that's actually, they, actually, they ask you to do that here. So if you found the inverse of um, this graph that we already drew, we just... Um, reflect it about the line y equals x, right? So we'll have like, oops, it would kind of look like this, okay? And let's, let's find the points for it. So one of the points would be 0 comma 0.5. And another point would be 1 comma 1.5. And another point would be 2 comma 4.5. 2 comma 4.5. So actually, if we were going to draw it, it would look kind of like this. Okay, so that is the inverse function. Okay, and then it says on your diagram, sketch the inverse function. Noting clearly the image of point A. A is where x equals 4.5. So that's that one. Okay, and so basically the image, the image of that would just be, um, oh my gosh, it would be that. The image of, uh, the image of that would be that. So the image of uh, 4.5 comma 2 is going to be 2 comma 4.5. 2 comma 4.5. All right? So that's it for that.